Hey, my name's Zach. If you're trying to record your desktop activity, there's actually a really good program out there called Camtasia Studio. Now that's a great screen capture program and basically what it does is just record your screen just like as if you were taking a video camera and recording it. It saves it as a digital file and you're able to go back and edit it or view what you've recorded later on. So on my computer here, I'm going to go to Google. In order to get Camtasia, we're just going to type Camtasia. And you can get a free trial just by going to their website. And the free trial is located here. I've already paid for the program and it's $299, but I think it's worth every penny. The reason being is it has its own multimedia editor where you can actually do some pretty quick edits that help you out. So as you can see, I have a recorder right down here. And if I click, you can see the time code and the audio going of me recording this video right now. The best part about Camtasia Studio is that multimedia editor. So I'll double click here and Camtasia Studio opens right up. All you would have to do is hit this button that says record the screen. And you would get a dialog box down like this and you would just hit record and it would start to record your desktop's activity. Now, how are you going to save these files? So, I have an example here of a file that's already been recorded. This is how the file is going to save. It's a .camrec file, which is a Camtasia recorder file. All we have to do is open up our Camtasia, and we can just click and drag and drop right in the recorder window. Now all we have to do is right click and hit Add to Timeline at Playhead. Make sure you click this drop down menu and go to Recording Dimensions and say OK. Now you can go to Produce and Share and you can just hit Produce and Share again. Now you're going to have to make a transcode preset. This is going to be great for you because you're going to make a QuickTime movie file and with that you're going to be able to use that on PC or Mac editing platforms. So, what we're going to do first is click here and hit Add or Edit Preset. We'll go to New and we'll call this Transcode. We're going to click MOV and make sure that you have QuickTime installed on your computer. It's actually not going to be able to transcode the file unless you have QuickTime already on there. So we'll go Next and we can go to QuickTime Options here. We can change the size, and I suggest clicking this button here and going down to HD 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. Hit OK again and hit Next. Stick with custom size here and hit Next again and then hit Finish. And now Transcode is saved and we'll hit Close and we can select it from this drop down menu now. We'll hit Next and we can title this. We'll just call it screen capture, or better yet, desktop screen capture. We'll hit finish, and also you can select your folder here. Hit finish, and that video is going to be exported into a .mov file. My name's Zach, and I hope this helps. Good luck recording your desktop.